Lyle here again. Uh, just wanted to show you guys the Warrior Nemesis that I strung up, or was going to string up and show you guys. Uh, I just used the white mesh that I got in my Gym Relax order. Uh, I had some uh, extra red sidewall. So yeah. Oh, and by the way, Gym Relax did actually compensate me for that. They're sending me out a new package and extra shooters and all sorts of stuff, so gotta love Jim Lax's customer service. But anyways, I was way too excited to try and string my first goalie hat ever, and I just couldn't wait the extra few days, so I went out and strung it. So here she is. I can back up my laptop a little bit. That's her. Uh, I don't really know what to, or where to begin. Uh, as you can see, I did red and white shooters. I kind of thought it'd be a cool uh, design to go with, all white and red. Just usually white and any other solid color, like primary colors, usually comes out pretty nice. So uh, it's a decent channel on it. Like I said, it's my first time stringing, so kind of got me a little bit of slack. Uh, the one thing I liked about my string job on this was. See how like even and consistent the top string is like it's all very very even. When most guys string goalie heads, it's all like messed up and just randomly pulled off and still weird stuff. Also, the top string on this, I did it with white because I didn't have enough red at first, and then all of a sudden I found this red string. I figured the top was a little too bland with just the white top string, so. I think that actually came out pretty cool. It's almost like doing a triangle top, but very easy to do. I think it came out cool. It's all like one straight line that just keeps following all the way through, and then it has all the little like spots to kind of highlight every single loop. I think it came out pretty cool. It's definitely aesthetically appeasing. The tongue twister. Uh, and then I did two U's, a straight in, and a nylon. The nylon is barreled. If you didn't really notice or not, it's barreled. On a goalie head, it usually doesn't look barreled. And then, uh, then the U's are a four diamond and a two diamond. I watched a video on tips for stringing goalie heads, and I figured I'd try it out. Uh, I do want to get a bit of a deeper pocket. I decided I'd just keep it simple for my first string job and just do a nice low, not complete bag, nice channel as you can see right there. The ball fits in perfectly. I don't have a ball right now, but uh, I had a friend shooting on me at my goal behind my father's shop, and uh, it works perfect. Like, uh, if you string it too tight and everything, it'll hit up here and the ball will bounce right back. And for being as tight as it is everywhere in the side, sidewalls are all very tight, it uh, actually doesn't bounce off that much. I only had one shot where it actually bounced off and kind of went forwards a little too much where I had to actually go up and scoop the ball out of the air and then so yeah uh, like I said I don't have a ball with me right now so I'm sorry I'll maybe get a video of someone shooting on me with this bad boy uh, it is for sale I really don't know what to ask for it it's a not very used nemesis it's got a little bit of scoopies on the back but no cracks or anything it's perfect like there hasn't even been a screw in the back of the head yet. It's still like perfectly new. So anyways, uh, for you guys that want to know uh, string and info about this, if you want to redo it the same as me, I did a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. I did a 12 diamond top. Or, yeah, 12 diamond top. And uh, I did the top string at the second hole. As you can see, I did the little fancy red thing that you see right here. I started that on the first hole. And then start the top string on the second hole because it pulls all the mesh down and makes it really even. That's this little white string that you see here. That's the top string. And then this red is actually the sidewall. I started the sidewall on the same exact uh, string around the same thing. So what I did is I just looped it around like pulled it through that piece of mesh right there right there as you can see maybe right there shit my bad looped it around and then uh, 
kind of did like a one-ish thing. Then I did a knot on the final sidewall hole right there. As you can see, I pulled that piece of mesh right there down and knotted it. And then after that, you go to the next sidewall hole, you do another knot, and you go down and do another knot, and then one last knot right there. And then after that, oh, one, two, three, four. After that fourth knot right there, you're going to do a one interlock. And I suggest not doing a one knot. Some guys like to do one knots, which I find very weird. So do, just do a one interlock on the next one. I use all the string and holes, except for up here. And after you do that one interlock, do a knot again. Or not a knot, an interlock. Another interlock. Uh, another interlock. Interlock. And then kind of like tie it onto the head there. So the pattern is for you guys that just want to write it down real fast. Uh, second. Start second. Uh, tie on to third. And then kind of like go back through that mesh. And then not on to fifth, fifth or fourth little hole. So I'll just say not fifth, and then not six, not, not one interlock, 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 and then a semi loose uh, tie off on the on one of the bottom string holes there, right there. And I just like wrap it around, pull it through twice, and then do an outside knot. And then the bottom string, I did the bottom string. I did an X bottom string. It uh, it makes it so that the ball doesn't fall through or anything. It, no matter what the ball, I can guarantee if you string it exactly like this, it won't fall out. So anyways, do the bottom string on two rows down. Two rows down from this. See that? Uh... The last one that you connected to right there, go down to this row, and then down one more, and then do that knot, or that X bottom string, and I just kind of weaved it a little bit, as you can see there. So that makes that. It's a very nice channel. Throws with no whip. Probably deepen that uh, knot up a little bit and give it a little bit more bag. But I don't know. I don't think... Too many guys like a ton of bags. Besides, it's still a very nice channel. Uh, give me some uh, opinions for you guys who play goalie. I don't really play goal. I just kind of sit in the goal every once in a while at my house and take some shots so that guys can actually have a little bit of a challenge other than an open net. So uh, give me some opinions on that, things I could change or anything. Uh, next time I am going to try to get a little bit higher of a pocket and everything. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and get at me if you have any feelings about the head. See ya.